The Public Accounts Committee was on a fact-finding mission in the Rift Valley to assess ongoing public projects. The first stop was the Kenya Industrial Training Institute in Nakuru, a project that was started 20 years ago and which is yet to be completed despite the government engaging the services of four different contractors. The committee has also established that the project's cost of construction has escalated from the initial amount of 119 million shillings to 1 billion shillings. We believe this is a major scandal that has happened in this country, but we are going to, 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 to move as a committee to make sure that we unearth it and all those who are uh, 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 part and parcel of it, whether being part of uh, the Ministry of Public Works or even the Attorney General's Office, because uh, the Attorney General's Office seems to have been part and parcel of this. The committee says the procurement process has continuously been flouted by a cartel that works with the offices from various government ministries and departments. What this contract seems to have done is to specialize in entering into a contract with the government, but failing to, 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 to meet his, his obligations, and then immediately either rushing to court or uh, colluding with some of the officers again to constitute uh, a panel, they call it an uh, arbitration uh, panel, firing the cost of the project and at the end of it, him or that contractor being awarded a huge, um, uh, um, huge, uh, what do they call it, U uh, compensation. 32 police posts in Rift Valley that were constructed at the height of post-election violence at a cost of 14.7 million shillings were given a clean bill of health. However, the committee says in future, such projects should be subjected to competitive bidding. For the police posts, I think these are quite justified. It was an emergency, Kenyans were dying, and I don't, I don't think we can put any cost when it comes to an issue of saving human lives. Top officials from the Ministries of Public Works, Industrialization and Office of the Attorney General will be appearing before the committee before a final report is compiled and tabled in the House. Tony Sanya, Citizen Weekend.